was uh, reading somewhere that uh, the defense it has bailed out the offense past couple of games. Do you look at it like that? Not when at all. Does the team look at it like that? <laughs> we don't look at it like that. Um, I mean, we're defense. That's what we do. We play defense. So, I mean, we don't mind that the offense, or, I mean, they're getting three and out. I mean, we don't mind. We like to play defense. And uh, the more we play defense, the more we are able to show, to show off our skill. That's how I treat it. Um, and I know the guys around me treat it the same way. Uh, we want to get turnovers. Um, we like to score points ourselves. Uh, we don't really, we can't really worry about the offense. Um, me being a leader, my job is to tell Greg, hey, I mean, maybe you're not doing well, or hey, offense, we may not be doing well, but we can pick it up. And I always tell Greg, hey, if they can't score, they can't win. And that's how, that's how he treats the game, that's how we treat the game. So uh, whether the offense is struggling or not, I mean, it's our job as a defense to stop them from scoring. Because like I say, if they can't score, they can't win. Rondo, what does this Tennessee rivalry mean to you? I mean, it don't really mean a lot to me besides just the tradition around it. Uh, it don't really mean a lot. It's just a game, a very big game, uh, obviously. But I'm going to treat it like it's any other game. Their quarterback struggled, 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 then had a good game here. Were you aware he was struggling, or when do you start paying attention? Uh, I haven't kept up with Tennessee at all. Uh, I know they have a good running game. They have a very good running back, number two. Uh, the offensive line is, is strong. Um, other than that, I, I really don't keep up with Tennessee, uh, especially not the quarterback. Speaking of running backs, you guys have a pretty good one in Ingram. What do you see? You've seen a lot of running backs. What, what makes him different from them and so special to you? Uh, I mean, I think what sets him aside is that uh, in fall camp and spring ball, he has to go against such a good defense. And um, we've just made each other better. Uh, I know we, we tackle better because we have to tackle him. Uh, and I'm sure he runs the ball harder because we're coming after him. And, and when you have that such a good defense to work against, I mean, you're naturally going to be better. And um, he just works hard. Every day in practice, he works hard, and uh, he wants the ball. And when he gets the ball, he, he tends to do a great job with it. Does he kind of play running back like you play linebacker a little bit in terms of the attacking style? Or uh, I mean, he's down here. You want to punch the guy that's trying to tackle him. I want to punch the guy with the ball, so I guess we ought to say. You guys lost or, or been without a, a pretty important part of the defense in a few games this year this past week without Javi. Just talk about where y'all are at maybe depth-wise this year compared to maybe your first year here. I mean, I don't know. Uh, I, it's not something I'm really worried about. I know there's not something we're worried about. Uh, my first year was my first year. I can't change anything to have my first year. I just know this year is this year. And uh, I mean, we, we're sorry to Javi. Uh, he got hurt, he wasn't able to play, but I know that uh, our trainers are doing the best they can to get him prepared. I know he wanted to play. Uh, before the game, I talked to him. I mean, hey, it's bigger games out there. I mean, we need you, but at the same time, we have to, we need you to support our players. We don't need you to be sad. Uh, we need you to just support our players. Uh, try to coach up Tyrone King on the sideline, tell him what you see, and I think he did a great job with that. Uh, he was encouraging people on the sideline, and that's all he really could do, and he did a great job with that. I mean, our defense, we don't really have a, a a position where you can just pinpoint it and say that that's the weak part. Um, I think we all feed off each other and we all play together. That's what makes this defense so special in my mind. So, um, I mean, Hobby went down, we really didn't have a, it didn't show it. It didn't really show that he was missing. And that just uh, goes back to Coach Saban and Coach Smart working with the secondary. They, did, they do such a great job, uh, our second team players. They practice like their first team, like they're going to start. So, I mean, when he, when Tyrone got the, the call to go in the game, I mean, he did well. I think he did very well. And that's just how we play. Um, that's how we practice. Coach Saban likes to talk about getting, making sure those second team guys are ready. Does he use Tyrone now this week, you think, to make sure everybody knows, look what happens when uh, you drop the I mean, I don't know. He really... I can't really say he does or he will. I mean, because he coaches everybody the same. He coaches you as you're a starter. He wants you to practice as as if you're going to be a starter. So, I mean, that's how you've been doing. I think he would do the same. Hey, Ro, after Kentucky, what's kind of changed for you guys? It seems like things are really locked down on defense. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, Kentucky had a. I don't know. They're a good team, and, and they just found some way to to have success and I think we've just 
we just try to step up our game, really. Uh, we just been practicing harder. We knew that it was unacceptable. Uh, Kentucky scoring 20 points on us, and we wanted to do better. And that's just the bottom line. We wanted to do better, so we're going out to practice to be better. I think it means it's, it showed in the game with nine points in the past two games. You guys have 14 points. The offense has one, two touchdowns. Offense has one touchdown. Is <laughs> that kind of, kind of odd, isn't it? Uh, it's not odd. Um, we don't really care if the offense scores or not. If, if if our opponent can't score, they can't win. And we pride ourselves on turnovers. We we like to score on defense, so and we don't mind. Uh, I'm sure the coaching staff is going to do what they, they've been doing on offense. Uh, it's not something I'm really worried about. I'm not wor really worried about how many score, uh, points they score. I just think uh, they should keep doing what, doing what they've been doing. And I think they'll be fine. Uh, the points will come. The, the points will come. And if they don't, then we just have to keep playing good defense.